Oh, hello. I'm Bob Schiller. I'm here. I have the honor of introducing uh, for you Daniel Kahneman. Uh, I have to say, for this is the this is one of our Oaken Lecture Series talks, and we've had very many illustrious people in for these talks, but this is the biggest turnout uh, ever. Uh, and I'm trying to understand why. I think it has, it's really testimony to Kahneman's uh, amazingly wide reach in his works, that uh, he has touched every, not every, most departments in the university. You can see his influences in the economics department, uh, in the management school, in the law school, in the psychology department, in the political science department. It's really all over. Uh, I, I was wondering if I could quantify his uh, influence on Yale uh, as an example of many other universities. I, I was reminded that he has two co-authors here, major co-authors, uh, Nathan Novemsky and Shane Frederick. Uh, but I thought he probably has other co-authors. So I had the idea, I would look up Daniel Kahneman and Yale on scholar.google.com. And then I'd find all of, all of his co-authors, and I'd find all the Yale professors who wrote papers citing uh, Daniel Kahneman. And I got 8,400 hits. And there was practically no living scholar that I could substitute for Daniel Kahneman and get anything like that. So I think that is real uh, 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 testimony to the strength of his work. Uh, we had an interesting discussion at lunch. He has one of the most, to me, interesting life stories. He was born in Tel Aviv, but then grew up in Paris. And uh, the uh, Nazis, as you may remember, occupied Paris. And they were not very nice to Jews living in Paris. So he was uh, 11 years old when World War II ended and survived by his family hiding uh, and uh, moving. And so, uh, remarkably, Danny said at lunch, I don't feel any scars from that, no emotional scars from that experience. Um, anyway, to continue his life story, he would then move back to Israel and uh, studied at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. And there he met uh, his most uh, major collaborator, uh, Amos Tversky. And the two of them uh, collaborated for years. Uh, and a lot of that work is reported in Danny's new best-selling book, uh, Thinking Fast and Slow, uh, which is a, do I have it wrong? Not exactly right. <laughs> and it's uh, a New York Times bestseller in 35 languages. Uh, again, testimony to the, just the amazing reach of his work. It's very powerful. Uh, work that he's done. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Amos Tversky died at age 59 in 1996 and was unable to share the Nobel Prize, uh, although Danny generously shared it with him in words. Uh, I should say something about the lecture series. This is one of the Arthur Oaken lectures. Uh, and this, was, this series was funded by an anonymous donor who was an admirer of Arthur Oaken. And uh, Danny told me at lunch that he's an admirer of Arthur Oaken. Arthur Oaken was a professor at Yale uh, who died also at an early age, at 51, uh, in 1980. He was the chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors under President Lyndon Johnson. Uh, and I think, uh, I looked through his works and I didn't see much in common between Oaken and Kahneman, except that I think both of them were people with a deep respect for the truth and the facts and the real world. Uh, so let me uh, just conclude by saying that I'm uh, Danny will speak for one hour, I think, uh, and uh, would that leave us a full half hour to, uh, for questions. And we have uh, someone with a roving mic uh, this event is being recorded, so we try to get your questions onto the microphone and so that everyone can hear. Uh, all right, I'm bringing you Danny Kahneman.
Um, I've been retired for some years, and, and I'm specifically retired from talking at universities um, because I haven't been doing really novel research for the last three or four years. I've been busy writing that, that book. <laughs> and, um, and I don't think really that academics who are not doing new things should be talking, but 